All right, love them knives channel. Ah. Hey guys, LTK here. I just got this in about four days ago and Tucson, and I had to write it down, TS27. It doesn't say anything anywhere, you know, on this thing. And it's just, you know, the typical Tucson box, right? Nothingness. Oh my God, comes out of the box and it's wet with oil and the blade's wet with oil and you got to wipe it down and then you realize that you got yourself a knife. I mean, you got yourself a knife, a good knife. Titanium frame lock flipper. Yes, 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 down that road. But D2 steel blade, really cool blade, like a big long old sheep's foot looking morning night morning design which one come first the morning or the night night morning design and those designs are really progressing uh i remember when they first came out a few months ago night morning design go oh that's really cool they're really stepping it up and here it goes full contoured not just the flat you know the flat two sun knives flat titanium scales you know stuff this is this is like entering the big leagues contoured titanium scales look at the backspacer wow milled milled titanium pocket clip insert in the lock bar of course Even milled out the flipper tab. A little bit of a choil here. So I think really from a sharpening standpoint, you're, you're good. You're good to go. And what do you got? Pretty good contact patch considering it's a flipper, right? Which means you got a belly here. And great amount of uh, tip strength here as well. Means this flipper tab is pretty low profile. Let me show you. Oh yeah, it's already buried. But does it flip? Oh yeah, it flips. Check it out. Jimped. But it's back like that Barca lounger. I love the Barca lounger flipper tab. Yeah. Jimping up here. Like a thumb ramp going up. Wow. What a trip that is. Look at that. Satin blade. Backspacers titanium with an integrated lanyard hole. Wow. I guess you could pimp this baby up. I mean, that's a lot of titanium there. People could do things with that, I'll bet. If you're creative and you got the gear, that's a good size knife. Check this out. Yeah, when I got it, I go, okay, hold on. I mean, we're just about to a full four inch blade. I mean, three and seven eighths at least. 97, 98 millimeters. All of that. And look at that. A, over eight and a half inches overall. 21 and a half and not quite to 22 centimeters. Pretty good size, pretty good size knife. Pretty good size knife. 12.8 mm, millimeter thick, uh, half inch. And blade stock, 0.15, which is four millimeters. Thick old four millimeter blade stock. You don't really appreciate it up here, do you? Because you got this grind here, the swedge, but then you can kind of see where it started at. Man, I'll tell you what, the action on this thing is really nice and it's so easy to disengage this lock bar. Not a huge pass through here, but very sufficient. Disengage lock bar, boom, falls to the bottom. Here we go. 
Shake it down. Just shake it down a little bit. Wow. Tucson. Wow, they are killing it, aren't they? Oh, you get them on eBay, right? They are bidding them on eBay. So you can go maybe snipe something. You know, set up a few of these and um, for your watch list and see what you could grab. Instead of paying whatever it is, 70 something dollars. Here, hold on. Let me get some paperwork to you. Okay, 64 bucks. I mean, even if you had to pay the 64 bucks. Okay, 63.92 on your app, mobile app. Not bad. Not bad. And is this my boy Cirilla? Yeah, I think this is his uh, Y Start store. And I'll give you the link to this because he's really a good seller. And uh, I like his shipping. It, it it gets there. It may take two weeks, but it ain't going to take three, four, five, or get lost or whatever. He's he's really he's really good that way. TS27 D2 3.86 inch blade. Yes, it is. All of that. Okay. Now, have we got... Uh, no. Yeah, we do. Okay. So... He puts in not only the millimeters, but the inches. Okay. Ball bearing washer system, etc. Okay. You think so? Pictures, pictures. Now, I took it apart, of course. Here's what it looks like. Yep, there's the bearings. And those look like ceramic bearings to me. Now, I cleaned this up and, you know, put some nano lube in, but there's just tearing it apart, okay? There's your recess for your bearings, your blade stop, and see here, you put this in here, and this is uh, captured, so your bearings run on this track here. You got it both sides on this side of uh, the inside as well. You've got another one like that. So, really, really nice setup. Looks like ceramic detent as well. Well made. And then, where the, the screw comes in, the pivot screw, yeah, they're putting these rubber O-rings in there. Fits right in underneath that pivot screw. Go figure. They're just starting to do that. So, you know, they got pretty good guts in here. Nice action. Feels good in the hand. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. What a little greasy monster it was coming out. Wipe it down. Then I took it apart and just kind of cleaned it up, put it back together. Centered right back up. No problem. Hopefully it's not moving on me. If it does, then I'll have to Loctite the, uh, the pivot uh, screw. And obviously that's the pivot screw. Here's the tube. Only comes off that way. But look at this. How many screws you got to take out of there? Take it apart. Yeah. I'm only seeing two. The pivot screw and the back one back here. Nice clean look, isn't it? Look at that. Love that design. Contour titanium. Really night morning. Wow. I don't know. Whatever's going on with that guy. Uh, excellent. Really doing a great job. Just a beautiful knife. This is probably my favorite Tucson knife. And then I've seen another one that's out, the TS-45, I think. So look for that one on eBay as well. Really, really a cool looking knife. Got kind of some geometric cutouts on the scales. Really cool. I mean, uh, had the one where the carbon fiber insert in it uh, just just really just some wonderful designs good quality knife especially for the price you know under seventy dollars under sixty five dollars d2 blade i don't know will it cut anything how about that yeah sharp right out of the box very nice Impressive. Really impressive. Uh, I guess I need to get links together 
for all the Tucson knives I've reviewed and put them in the comments say our description box down below you know and you can look at the different ones that I've reviewed over the months and what an evolution it has been but we're really coming together with this really comfortable in the hand you can see the finger choil here up here really nice fingers fit here here a little bit of palm swell here oh, nice really nice feels comfortable in the hands no hot spots with the pocket clip reverse grip feels really good as well and of course no blade play or lock rock nothing there nothing there well-made knives um no zipper pouch no microfiber cloth it's like hey it's under 65 dollars how much more do you want it's like you're right i don't need the microfiber cloth i don't need a zipper pouch i don't need a fancy box i just need a good solid knife and a great design and fit and finish that really looks good it's all of that it really is it really is oh, nice action really good action Whew. really good action detent's not super super strong it's maybe a five five and a half yeah probably a five you know, it's a lot like most of the other Chinese knives that are on bearings. Not a real, real strong detent, but you want it to come flying out. And it's pretty smooth, so you really don't have an issue. Very nice. It's where it needs to be. It really is. I don't need the detent to be any stronger. Because it deploys so nicely. What do you think? Good look at knife. They just keep getting better and better. Oh, yeah. Do I have the 45 on order? Oh, yeah. Do I have the 48 on order? Not yet, but I'm going <laughs> to. It's a smaller knife than the 45 and then this. But, oh, comparison. Here's a full-size grip. Yeah, which one do you think is a bigger knife? Yeah, the Tucson is way bigger. Para 2, yeah, smaller knife, smaller knife, Manix, next, kicking ass and taking names, there you go, right there, yeah, it's a bigger knife, big, slender, nice, ooh, yes it is, what does it weigh, what do you think it weighs, well, let's find out, lay it down. 143 grams that's pretty darn carryable five ounces right on the nose Whew. yeah nice well is that heavier than the para 2 yeah is it he heavier than the manix absolutely you know even heavier than the grip yeah this is g10 you know but is it right in there with most other titanium knives yeah it is five in fact is probably on the lower end you find a lot of them in the five, five and a half. So really good looking knife, satin blade, good grind. You know, symmetry on the grind, yeah. Yeah, really well done here. Really well done. All along here, just very nice. Sharp, great out of the box, greasy out of the box. So you get a rag and get ready. Because you're going to like this knife. I know I do. I love this knife. And you know what we do on this channel. We love them knives. So stay sharp, my friend.